Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin remembered the lives lost on September 11 in a ceremony just outside the Pentagon Wednesday, telling the gathering, we don't just work near a memorial, we work in a memorial every day. We serve in the only surviving building struck by Al-Qaeda on September 11, Austin said. And every day we carry a powerful sense of purpose. The attacks by 19 men in 2001, most of them Saudi Arabian, killed 2,977 people and left thousands of bereaved relatives and scarred survivors. The planes carved a gash in the Pentagon, the U.S. military headquarters, where an American flag was unfurled at dawn Wednesday in tribute. Austin said that while it may seem that many Americans don't observe 9-11 anniversaries anymore, the men and women of the Department of Defense remember. They are not gone who live in the hearts of others, he said. He was joined on the dais by Joint Chiefs Chairman General Charles Q. Brown, Jr., We remember the day, we remember the determination. But most importantly, we will remember the loss here at the Pentagon, Brown said. The attacks altered U.S. foreign policy, domestic security practices and the mindset of many Americans who had not previously felt vulnerable to attacks by foreign extremists. Effects rippled around the world and through generations as the U.S. responded by leading a global war on terrorism, which included invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq. Those operations killed hundreds of thousands of Afghans and Iraqis and thousands of American troops, and Afghanistan became the site of the United States' longest war. W. Ambrose Specialist Craig S. Amundsen, United States Army. Petty Officer 3rd Class Melissa Rose Barnes, United States Navy. For those whose lives were changed forever on 9-11, it can feel as if more and more Americans are returning to normal life on each new September 11th. But not here, not at the Pentagon, because we remember. The men and women of the Department of Defense remember and we always will. Master Sergeant Max J. Belkey, United States Army retired. We don't just work near a memorial, we work in a memorial. Every day we serve in the only surviving building struck by Al Qaeda on 9-11. And every day, we carry a powerful sense of purpose. For three months, Kevin fought hard in the burn unit just to survive. I want to especially thank my fellow veterans of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. In the memory of every American soldier sailor, airman, marine, and public servant who lost their lives in the wars that America fought after 9-1-1, we bow our heads. Since of the worst terrorist attack in American history. They are not gone who live in the hearts of others. It can make sense of the worst terrorist attack in American history. We will remember the day. We will remember the determination. But most importantly, we will remember the loss. The loss here at the Pentagon, the loss at the World Trade Center, and the loss in the fields of Pennsylvania. The sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters who are lost in that day, but will never be forgotten.